Hey guys, it's Jose, and uh, I ju he just came into Goodwill, and he's like, I heard your voice, dude. You got to come see the haul I just got. Oh my god, you got this here at this Goodwill? No, uh, yard sale. Oh, you got it at a yard sale. Oh, wow. Dang, dude. My name is Burf, and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf, and it's five thrift store. Friday! Yes, it's five thrift store Friday, the happiest day of the week. Ah, yes! Yes! Oh my god! Wow! Oh! up five thrift stores at least today maybe more who knows but uh we're gonna start here at thrift giant what i like to refer to as old thrifty pants so if you're new to the channel my name's burf this is my turf and i hunt for vintage toys and thrift stores if you like thrift stores if you like vintage toys you probably like my channel i think so you said you should hit the subscribe button do me a favor and subscribe and then watch my shit <laughs> oh yeah all right um so here's the deal fingers crossed thrift gods be vintage thrift store gods be good to me today hopefully we can walk out of this adventure with tons and tons of vintage tonnage toys stuff all right guys let's get to let's get to rummaging What's that? Some sort of, oh, it's a kitchen timer. Death Star kitchen timer. Never seen one of those before. All right, so we got that. We got some Wii games. Something else going on right here. I don't know what that is. Maybe some sort of other game, that little black box under there. What's around the side over here? Yeah, just some dolls and got lots of bobbleheads Lamar Odom Karen Butler Luke Walton Chris Mim Mark Aguirre Eddie George basketball football all right let's go see what's on the shelves all right what do we got oh look at this car that is cool man I really dig the colors on that that is a cool looking car we got some sort of uh, jet fighter. Looks like its tail wings are broken off. The canopy's missing. All right, looks like we got some sort of Jurassic stuff down here too. Does this one make noise? Oh yeah. What do they want for him? They probably want like 13, 14 bucks, $10, $10. Oh, this is the one that lights up too. Well, that's cool. No, I don't know if I'm gonna get him today. There, here's some more Jurassic down here. We got the Stegosaurus. We've got a T-Rex. What are they asking for him? Nine dollars for him, and six dollars for him. And we've got a Dino Volcano Land. We've got a great white shark. Oh, look at this guy. It kind of looks like he might have been white originally. And then, wow, they went five bucks for this piece of shit. Forget about it. Got these little generic dinos over here. They want two bucks a piece for them. They're cool. Nothing I want though. Oh, look, we got Stumpy Spider-Man. We got lots of DC and Marvel stuff. Lots of Iron Man. One, two, three, four Iron Man. Five Iron Man. One, two, three. Three Spider-Man. Miles Morales. We got Captain America. More paint wear on his nose. We got Stumpy Red Ranger. Yeah, nothing worth getting. Oh, look at this. Chevron Special Edition 2002 Hope. 
Dang, look at all these dog crates. Holy cow. Somebody's kennel must have shut down and all this got donated. I've never seen so many. You could open up your own pet store if you wanted. Oh, check that out in the back. They got a biker scout back there. Oh, that is cool, man. I want that. Oh, check it out. She actually went back and got him for me. How cool is that? Oh, man. And five bucks. So, yeah, we're definitely taking him home today. All right, so I might just wait around here a little bit because the cart that he was on also has like a big box of toys. I can't really see what's in it, but it's a big box. So, you know, sometimes those big boxes can be packed full of vintage. So we might just hang out here for a little bit and wait for them to bring that next cart out. Right, check this out. What's this? Some sort of racing vehicle, like an anime. You know, the only downside to like waiting for that cart to come out is that if it doesn't have anything in it that we want, then we're wasting time and people like Carson, Carson, are out hitting up thrift stores this morning too and getting the drop on me. Lucky for me though, Hendrix is out of town. He's in New York, so I don't have to worry about him this week. Just that diabolical Carson. All right, we'll wait around a little bit longer, see what happens. See that right there, that big box in the back. That's the one I'm talking about. Oh, check this out. An Avendro, Avendros, an Avendros, the Avengers Hero Inventor Kit. I bought one of these, but it was an R2-D2 and it was a mistake. It ended up missing some pieces, which sucked because it's worth nothing. But we'll pass on that. For that same reason, there could be stuff missing in it. All right, see that lady down there? I just, just asked her if she would go back and bring that card out. And she said that she can't do it. She's got other stuff to do first. I don't know how long it's gonna be before it comes out, but I'm thinking maybe we should go hit up some other stores. I think that might be the best thing to do because it could be like another 30 minutes, you know? Or at least maybe we'll go hit up Goodwill and then I'll pop back in here on the way back through and see if it's uh, out yet. Yeah, let's do that. Well, hey, at least that one chick was cool enough to go back there and get this. So whoever you are, thank you so much. This is a 2014 Jax Pacific 18 inch biker scout. Even has his blaster. How cool is that? Of course, it's just, I think it's just, well, I don't know, is it attached or? Let me see if it's actually like molded into his hand. Oh yeah, it's just molded into his hand which is cool. They have such tiny blasters. <laughs> it's almost like a, like a handgun. Kind of like uh, they were the, you know, law enforcement of the Wild West on Endor. <laughs> All right, guys, off to the Goody Well to see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the Goody Well, baby. Goody Well off Round Road. What you got for me today, Goody Well? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage goodness in there. Let's check it out. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What's on the shelves? All right. We got a tank. I think this one's batteries work. Yep, they work. seen a whole lot here's a green goblin four bucks for him huh dang i remember when these things were like a buck 99 when i first started thrifting just a couple of years back two three years ago what's this mailbox that looks vintage i have no idea look at this, uh, look at this thing oh it's like a christmas mailbox Kind of creepy. Like, eat your meal. Ooh, feed me. <laughs> Let's see, what year is this thing from? I only want $3 for it. The Singing Talking Mailbox by Telco. What's it got a year on it? I'm guessing 90s would be my guess on it. 
Yeah, I don't really see a... What's oh, it might be here on the bottom. Let's see. No. But I'm guessing probably 1990s. Oh, in the box, he's selling for like 60, 65 bucks. Out of the box, loose, I saw him selling for around 40. Doesn't seem like a bad price. I don't know if he works though. That's the only thing. I don't know if he works. If he doesn't work, he ain't, ain't worth jack. Oh, we got some sort of uh, Disney princess bank here. All right, well, this piece right here, there was like a little peg that fit in there, that little hole, and it's busted off. All right, yeah, he ain't really worth a whole lot then. All right, goody will busted off the thrift shitty, baby. All right, gang, we are at the infamous thrift city, home of the inglorious glass case. Inglorious one. All right, let's see what they got in here. Let's see. What goodness did they bring out for us since our last trip here? Whoa, <laughs> almost ripped that off the shelf. All right. Not seeing a whole lot so far, gang. You guys are part of my gang. Someone said we need to call it, uh, what they call it? Rock, no, not rock gang. Rock pile is what we need to call our gang. They said we should call it rock pile. The rock pile. Kind of like the sound of that. I don't know. Might not settle on that, but I like the sound of it. All right, let's see what else do we got here. Nothing, a whole lot of nothing. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the inglorious glass case. All right, a lot of these glasses got moved. Somebody came in and bought, oh, they're just moved down there. <laughs> she moved them down to this end. But, oh yeah, look at that uh, Fisher Price little music radio box thing. Oh, check it out, we got some VHS. That was a good movie. You know, the word conspiracy theorist was actually created by the CIA. And it's a term that's used to discredit anybody that's actually telling the truth. So if you're a conspiracy theorist, you're one of my kind. I also got The Secret of Nim. I got that. It's a great movie. What's this? Pokemon. New 2 Returns, I might check on that. I'm not a Pokemon person, but sometimes those things can be worth a little money. We've got the Mask of Zorro, Claire's Heart. We've got City Slickers, I might grab that one. I was gonna grab this one before at another but at another uh, thrift store, but the, uh, the box was pretty banged up, but I might grab that one. Undercover Blues. Life with Father, as good as it gets. Let's see, what's this? White Christmas and we've got the mask. All right, so we're gonna get this. It's worth like eight to 10 bucks and then we're gonna pick up City Slickers. All right, guys, well no, shit. Dang. <laughs> Dang. All right, <laughs> I just dropped my phone. But I saved it. I caught it like between my knees almost. But uh, I just signed up for their rewards program and I got this cool little satchel, this little purse, this little Merce. Nicole will be so happy. I got a super thrift, super thrift city. I'm a super thrifter. All right, guys, let's go hit up old thrifty pants off of Mill Street and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends. We're a thrift giant. The thrift giant that I rarely ever score at, but maybe today's different. Any given thrifting day, as they say, right? Any day could be the big day. Any store could be the epic store. Any find could be like the money find, you know? All right, let's see what they got in here. Got some Funko Pops on the shelf, some Star Wars, Assassin's Creed, Back to the Future. 
that Dr. Emmett Brown looks cool. All right, let's see what's on the shelves. By the way, the Emmett Brown is only selling for like eight bucks. Oh, look at this guy. He's kind of cool. We also have a Bane. We've got a Woody. Our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Well, it turns out he's from a 2006 Planet Heroes. But I really dig him. He's like a cyborg robot. They want three bucks for him. I think I'm going to pick him up. I think he's just really neat looking. I like toys like that. All right, well, check him out. His name is Gustus Jupiter. He's got this little button on the back here. You can get him going. Spin. <laughs> How cool is that, dude? Oh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, he's, I'm just going to keep him. I ain't going to resell him because he ain't worth nothing. He's worth about what I paid for him, really. So, but I think he's cool. And uh, I love I love toys that are like this. He's kind of bulky, you know? He's colorful. He's a little faded though. His colors are a little faded, but he's still got that orange and green eye, you know, the orange, orange mech suit, the green eye, the little red nose. I love it. All right, let's go check the Goody Wheel. We'll probably hit up a couple more thrift stores after that, but we'll go see the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, kiddos, we're here. We're here. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Say it with authority sometimes. All right, let's see what they got for us today. As we approach Ground Zero, we are on the hunt for vintage toys. All right, what do we got? Looks like Jack freaking squat. There ain't nothing here. Jeez. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, that's like, uh, isn't that from uh, Halo? For like 12 inch figures. Damn. Wonder if it's worth a little something, something. Let's check it out. All right. Here's the data we've collected on this thing. So there are people trying to sell this thing loose for 130 bucks. When I look at the comps with the gun, so it's missing its gun, it's machine gun back here. With the gun, I saw that it sold for like $50. Without the gun, I saw where I think it sold for 37, plus like $17 shipping. They want $6.99 for it. It's pretty cool. But it would have to be like a Facebook marketplace listing. It's just, it's too big and bulky and heavy to like... I'd get burned on shipping on eBay. Let's just put it that way. Man, that is cool. You could actually use it for your 12-inch GI Joes. Part of me wants to get it and keep it. Part of me wants to get it and flip it. But also part of me knows if I get it to flip it, I'll end up keeping it because I'm too lazy to list it. <laughs> so, man, it'd be cool if it had the gun. I was kind of looking on the shelf here. See if there's any guns I didn't see any. What's this thing down here, actually? Oh, it's a Hot Wheels playset. But they had this thing, too. Check this out. One of those creepy doll head thingies. Rainbow Sparkle Deluxe Style Styling Head. Still in the box. What do they want for this thing? Oh, $6. Doesn't seem bad. I bet you you could probably get a decent decent amount of money for that. Probably at least like $25, bucks, right? But, well, here's a Harry Potter figure down here, too. Back to this. Oh, man. I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. It's like, it's too much. I've got, <laughs> I'm having that yard sale. Hey, guys, it's Jose, and uh, I, he just came into Goodwill, and he's like, I heard your voice, dude. You got to come see the haul I just got. Oh, my God. You got this here at this Goodwill? No, uh, yard sale. Oh, you got it at a yard sale. Oh, wow. Dang, dude. Oh, you got a Star Trek Enterprise? 
I'm actually gonna hit up a yard sale tomorrow in my neighborhood. Well, it's not, it's a next neighborhood over. It's like a 10 house yard sale over in Plano. So I was gonna hit that up. A friend of mine was telling me about it. Oh, you got a couple PlayStations yeah. in there too. What is that? Um, it's like a collector statue. This one's oh. empty, but I think the, this one has a statue in it. Oh, wow. And look at that. Yeah, and then a 2007 Masterclass lightsaber. Oh, oh, you got a Masterclass. Yeah. Oh, dude, those go for like over a hundred bucks. Yeah, I got Luke Skywalker's yesterday, but it's broken. Oh, wow. Dude, yeah. sweet home. And what's that box right there? Oh. Smuggler's Bounty? Yeah, some Funko Pops. Oh, very cool. I'll check those out, dude. Did you get a good deal on this oh, stuff? Oh, dude. What, what'd you pay for it? Including yesterday's stuff. And you, he found a ton of vintage G.I. Joe. He found a troubleshooter, accessories, all kinds of stuff yesterday. He sent me a picture of it. Let me show you what I was like. Dude, these look, dude, is, this isn't the Boba Fett. This isn't the real expensive Boba Fett, is it? Yeah, 250 Boba Fett. No, well, 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 oh, it's too, okay. Because there, there is a Boba Fett that yeah, by Cloud himself City. is like 1700 It's close out is the Cloud City yeah. Boba Fett. Wow. So, this is one thing. Oh, wow, you got that yesterday, Obi -Wan too. Obi-Wan Kenobi Hot Toys. And then this lightsaber. Wow. Master Class 2002. Wow, dude, yard sale season's in full gear. <laughs> um, total with today and yesterday, about $40 for everything. For everything. Wow, dude. Oh my god. Good job. Yeah. That and that's like uh that's just like a canvas. Yeah, a canvas. Yeah, I love that though. Yeah. Awesome job, my man. Not yet. Super scores. <laughs> Not yet. I like I told we passed yesterday and like they were barely taking stuff out and they're like, oh tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm like, alright, I'll pass by past this early morning. It was good. <laughs> Cool, man. Congratulations. Man, how cool is that? Old Jose there, racking up the scores. He's racking and stacking, baby. <laughs> rack them. <laughs> That'll be our new term when we score. We'll rack them, right? So rack them, Jose. Uh, yeah, that is awesome, man. Uh, they hit up yard sale, uh, which I definitely want to do more of that. I know a lot of you on the channel have said, Burf, you should do more yard sales and stuff like that. So he got that that, and the G.I. Joe stuff, like I said, he got a troubleshooter. And he, I just found out the guy that he bought the troubleshooter from yesterday with the accessories and all that stuff gave it to him for a dollar. Gave him everything for a dollar. He said it was like an older couple that, you know, was just getting rid of, I guess, their kids' toys that were left over and stuff like that. So that's really super cool very proud of jose man dude like you that that is an awesome score dude i'm all jazzed up for you buddy so all right so now that we got a little bit of life breathed back into us let's uh let's go hit up another thrift giant or another goody wheel or maybe hit up craptastic sam's i don't know but wherever we end up i will see you there all right gang i decided to pop back into thrift giant here to see if uh that box came out so we'll check that out and then i think what we're going to do instead of going to the other thrift stores we're going to, we'll check out collectibles cards and games because i or collectible collectibles cards and toys i think is what it's called i always get them names messed up but anyway uh they have uh fred flintstone flintstone figures there for like 50 percent off that i wanted to get last time and didn't and i don't know why i didn't but i want to see if they're still there so let's check this and then we'll head over there well it's definitely not out here on the shelves so let's go check and see if it's still in the back or they put it out and it actually had some good stuff in it and somebody bought it yeah it's not back there so somebody bought it unless for some reason they put it down here on these shelves which they normally don't but we'll check yeah nothing oh, man so that kind of makes me wonder if there was actually some good stuff in it because normally those boxes it's only been like an hour since we left normal well maybe an hour and a half what well, time it's like 11 30. yeah it's been it's been two hours <laughs> it's been two hours since we left but uh yeah normally the boxes hang around for a little bit so i'm wondering if maybe there was some good stuff in there oh well 
maybe somebody on my channel saw it. There's a lot of uh, like Jose, you know, like not that Jose saw it, but like there's, you know, other thrifters, toy collectors like Jose in the area that will also watch my channel. Might've swooped in and got the drop on me. Carson's sick, which is good. He just sent me a text message. He's got 102 degree temperature. I wrote him back. I said, good. <laughs> and he said, actually, I didn't say that. I said, I said, I hope you feel better soon. I hope you get well soon. But he was like, the thrift stores have been spared the evil of Carson today is what he sent over. So, all right, let's go check out collectibles, cards, and toys and see if we can score these Flintstones for like half off. All right, homies. We here at collectibles. It's not even collectibles. It's comics, cards, and toys. Jeez, I butchered that name. All right, let's head in here and hopefully we can get a bedrock of a score. Right, here they are. We got some Flintstones. We had some more over here too. There's this one. This Bam Bam. We even have a... Flintstones, what is this, like a coloring book? Lots of coloring and activities too. All right, cool. She said if I bought a bunch of stuff, she might be doing better than 50%, so we'll, we'll see. I'll check out this thing. What is that? Skyward Gacking. That's pretty cool. and swings, Jumbo King. Hmm. That is so cool. Is that the King Kong? Yeah, it's a little King Kong. Yeah, that thing is cool. Oh, look at that. That's cool. His face kind of flickers. Stan Lee presents the Mighty Marvel Superheroes Fun Book. That does look fun. Superhero stamp album. Oh, really? Here, we can open this up. Oh, yeah, look at all those fun things you can do in there. You got mazes. Oh, somebody already did the crossword puzzle. Yeah, this one's pretty filled out. Dang, guys, that was awesome. She gave me this whole box of stuff for 40 bucks. Way more than half off. Way more than half off. So let's head back to the bunker and do a little show and tell. I'll show you what I picked up. All right, gang, we're back at the bunker. Now let's do a little show and tell. Behold my haul. Check this out. So we got some of the Flintstone PVC figures, which is exactly what I was going for. And like I said at the beginning, you know, they were having like this 50% off sale, but she told me, she was like, hey, you know, if you get more stuff, I'll give you a better deal. So I decided to kind of start stocking up on some things. So I grabbed the rest of the Flintstones, everything that they had there. I didn't leave anything behind. So I even got this, uh, check out this Bam Bam. So he does work, however, um, he is broken, but that can be easily glued back together. Let's wind him up. But he does work and he'll look awesome in my wind up toy collection. Yeah, it just needs to be wind up a little, little stronger. But so we got this Bam Bam. We also got uh, Face Man from the A-Team, Mr. Templeton Peck also known as real life Dirk Benedict. I almost said Burke. <laughs> Burke Benedict, Dirk Benedict, uh, one of my favorite actors. And we got Fred on card. How cool was that? You can see the original price here was $17. I'll tell you what I paid for everything here in just a moment. But uh, we got the rest of the gang here. We got uh, Betty, she's the only Betty figure 
in the whole lot. So we've got a couple of Pebbles, a couple of Wilmas, even though the Wilmas are doubles. We got twins. Oh, twins, huh? Yeah, Fred's gonna be having a good time. <laughs> so, all right. Anyway, uh, we also got this, this Jumbo King. Leaps and swings, check this out. Let me pull this up. Now the lady at the store, she really loved this thing. She was like, I'm gonna miss that so much. But check that out. We got old King Kong here doing all kinds of acrobatic tricks. Kind of reminds me of these little games here that we got, these little toys that we got there at Tomic, uh, Tomics, Comics, Cards and Toys. I can't even talk today, Tomics. Um, it's just like these little guys, but a smaller version. So, and uh, I do love me some King Kong. And I told her that, I was like, man, this is like perfect. This will look great with the, with the rest of my Kongs. And uh, so we got that. Let's fix old Betty here in the back. And then we also got the shadow. We got this figure right here. I already had a couple of these figures that I found in thrift stores along the way. We've got him in a clear translucent uh, shell of a body there. So uh, we got that. And then we got this one. It's really cool. Definitely digging this line. Might have to investigate it a little bit further. Maybe get some more shadow added to added to I was like my, <laughs> added to my collection. Um, we got this Flintstones activity book. It says uh, lots of coloring and activities too. So I was kind of thumbing through this. Oh, first of all, check this out. Like. Kmart stickers. How cool was that? Originally 42 cents, and I'm sure it must have went on clearance for 10 cents. But uh, none of it has been colored in, which is cool. But some of the activities have been done. Some kids writing. Eh, could be an adult's writing. I've seen adults write like kids too. Uh, but how cool was that? So we got this coloring activity book. And then we got this thing right here, this Tron. So it says futuristic adventure book, the based on the extraordinary motion picture, new from Walt Disney Productions. Full color poster inside. Oh, check this out. I haven't even looked at it. I'm looking at it here for the first, oh, there's the poster. Okay, I don't want to do this with one hand because like I'll end up ripping or tearing it. But check out these figures here. I'll bet you those look really cool under a black light. Check those out. Computerized special effects. The Red Warrior Riddle. Square Shooter. Look at all these down here. Big ugly back of my hand. All right. Uh, check that out. We got like scenes from the movie. Some behind the scenes stuff. Oh, is that, uh, is that George Lucas? Hmm. Is it? I don't know. Was George Lucas? No, I don't think that's George Lucas. Was he? He wasn't involved in the creation of that, was he? He might have been. I don't know. I actually try. I have this movie on VHS. I tried watching it. Had a very hard time with it. So, oh, look at that. Oh, I see. So you'd have to actually kind of rip these pages out in order to get the full color poster. Oh, that kind of sucks. But still cool at the same time. Sorry, my camera work here is so wobbly, guys. Oh, look at the back of it. Check that out. Yeah, that is really super cool. And I got it just because of like the, the subject matter. I thought it was cool. I like the artwork on the front of it. And, uh, and when I was in the store, I noticed this guy's face kind of flickered. Just the way the, they have the, the lines going across his face. It's almost like he's like glowing a little bit, kind of neat. And then um, I'm not gonna bust all these out, but I did get these Total Recall cards, which uh, I actually saw this movie in the movie theater with my friend Bobby Mundorf. So we were uh, into weightlifting at the time, back in junior high school. And, uh, you know, we were following Schwarzenegger and all his movies, so we went to see this movie. But uh, 
yeah, check that out. I bet you there's all kinds of cool scenes in here. No, we're not gonna go through all of them. It just take a little too long, but I am very, very happy with my haul. Well, there you have it. Another successful five thrift store Friday, even though most of the stuff we got was not from a thrift store. Although we did score a biker scout at the thrift store. So that was cool. That was probably like the best score of the day from thrift stores. Our friend Jose scored big at a yard sale. And then I scored big here at the toy store. Man, everybody was scoring big today, except for Carson, because he's homesick. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I did score big at the toy store. So check this out. So all of that stuff would have normally been $113, but she gave me a 65% discount and I got it all for like 40 bucks. So how awesome is that? $40 for all that stuff. The, you know, the, the regular discount was supposed to be 50, but as you know, she said, hey, if you wanna, you know, get more stuff, I'll give you an even bigger discount. So we walked out of there with a 65% discount. Yeah, take that, Carson. So, hey, if you're enjoying watching this uh, video and this content, if you're enjoying watching my channel as much as I'm enjoying making videos for it, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out, it helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.